Okay, so the the first movie I want to talk about today is The Sessions. Uh, I gave The Sessions a four out of five. Here's what I said uh, in my mini review. Actually, a pretty normal, upbeat movie with a based on a true story premise about a physically handicapped man who decides to experience sex for the first time by hiring a sex surrogate. Too bad that same premise might come across on the surface as more unrelatable than it ends up being. And uh, I stand by that. I think it's a very relatable movie. Um, it's just maybe a slightly uncomfortable movie in the first few minutes as you get comfortable with the premise, I suppose. Um, mm. People don't like to talk about their own um, sexual issues or uh, um, experiences, and this movie... Or lack of experiences, frustration, to, to admit that, hey, I'm not right. getting the sex I want, and what am I going to do about it? Right, and this movie has a, has a premise that's kind of a proxy for that concept in general, even though it's very understandable and... Um, sort of can get away with a lot because of this premise. Um, but the, the character, the main character is quite charming. Um, it's uh, played, the character is played by John Hawks, who I don't know very well, but you may know because he's a... Deadwood. Guess, yeah, a lead guy from Deadwood. That's all I know about him. Um, and then Helen Hunt is in the movie, and, mm. um, and uh, she's naked a lot in the movie. Well, everyone's kind of naked a lot, but especially her. <laughs> um, but but not in a not in a, like a sexy way necessarily. Like the movie's very um, direct and forward about people trying to have sex and figuring it out, you know, on screen, and that's mm. part of the premise. And I think it's actually done quite tastefully, even if awkwardly or could be uncomfortable. So maybe it's not for everyone, but it it's not because it's trying to offend or do something that's just edgy for the sake of boobs. It on sounds screen. like it's being honest that that sex isn't easy and awesome every single time. Right, yeah, and, and I commend it for that. I think, I think that's a decent theme. Um, we don't see enough in, in Hollywood movies. Normally it's everything's, you know, uh, uh, concurrent orgasms <laughs> or whatever <laughs> with lots of hot people on screen or whatever. So, um, and it was nice and short, so I appreciated that. And uh, it was d directed by uh, a guy named Ben Lewin, who I don't know much about him other than he went through a similar experience of, of disability, um, although he now can can move around and walk, but he had polio when he was younger, like the character who this mm. um, this story is based on. Um, and I really liked how uh, the character John Hawks plays uh, gets to interact with lots of different women, and there's some really powerful scenes where, you know, it's not just that he's disabled that that he doesn't have a shot um, necessarily. You can kind of relate to him or see yourself in him where he interacts with certain women a lot and, and uh, there's a couple of times where he, he goes for it and he says like, I like you, I wish we could be more together or whatever and then you see how various women react to that, some um, in a nicer way than others and I, and I think that's indicative of people in general in life not always being matched up perfectly, you know, and one person kind of having a false positive and then getting rejected and Anyway, um, that's a lot of detail there. I'll leave it there. It, it's a good movie. Um, a, a pretty lighthearted in the end, even for being about a serious topic. And yeah, four out of five. I, I definitely.